Hello everybody, my name's Be Brucify. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. I do apologize that there was no uh fucking face cam for the Viva Pinata. I'm gonna try to make that a regular thing now. It's just that it took so it's just that during that time I didn't really feel like setting it up so yeah, there, so there was no face cam. Next time there will be face cam for that video. There were gonna be face cam for all of my videos. So yeah, that's always that's always a nice thing. So anyway, I have been doing some work. I got a few items, defeated a few trainers, and I got all my Pokemon level 25. Wait a minute, I forgot Togepi. Hang on, this shouldn't take too long. Especially if I do this. All right, there we go. There we go, level 25. All right. Perfect. Encore. Uh, no thanks. I'm not gonna use that move. It, 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 I always thought that, that was a weird. It had a weird animation to it, where it's just like a clan's hand slowly capping, and I think stars come out or something. It was weird when I first saw. Wait. Really? Oh my god! <laughs> really? Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh wait, no, hang on. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, there we go. Look at that! Look at that down there! I, I don't believe it! Yes! Why do it look more golden than usual? I thought Toka... Wasn't Toka... I was trying to learn... No! No! Oh my god. R really? Yes! Oh, that's so much better now. Oh, I can do fly now. Uh, wait. I, when we get to the gym. I was really hoping we would get Toka Tick before we went to the gym. Went to, um, what's his name's gym? But that's, that's really good. That's really, really good. And there's a huge stat increase, too. Nice. Oh, and I did catch Lapras, and now it's level 25. I think they said level 37 for Ice Beam. That's pretty long ways away, but we're gonna be we're gonna get all our Pokemon to level 40 at the very least by the time we reach the Elite Four. At the very least, level 40. Oh shit, sorry. At the very least, level 40. All right, so let's keep going. Oh shit, what was that plan again? Oh yeah, we gotta keep going this way. Alright, so let's just get back to where we were before. And now we're back. Alright, so, so there are some trainers down here. But they shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think that guy has some Pikachus. I'm not sure though. Alright, so let's switch to Quilava. Sure. It's really amazing though. Tokobi evolved into Togetic. That's awesome. So awesome. Uh, wait, what does this guy have? Oh yeah, he does have Pikachu. Only level 17. Dude, I have six Pokemon. They're all level 25 and above. And you only have one level 17 Pikachu. You're so screwed. And dead. I was actually re planning to record last night, but I got super tired, and I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna try to go to bed early. And, yeah. And, to be honest, I was actually gonna record about almost two hours ago, but I kept getting distracted by the internet. You know, it's quite ridiculous. Oh, I did catch Farfetch'd, and I did catch Yanma. Uh, how do you catch Yanma? You will... Have uh, there will be times where you get a phone call saying that a horde of Pokemon have showed up. Is that where hordes come from? Is that where they come from? Is that, was that the inspiration? Maybe. Anyway, uh, yeah, you will get phone calls for hordes of Pokemon. When I say hordes, I mean, like, they come in and now you can try to catch one. Of course, one at a time. There's no 5v5. No, 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 no. Yeah, right, I'm... Alright, I'm fucking Game Boy Color's tiny, tiny formatted screen. Yeah, right. 
anyway, uh, shit. I think this guy has some water Pokemon. Hang on. You know, what? I'll make it. I'll make this switch to coughing. I know he doesn't have. I know he doesn't have any fucking steel types or or ground types or rock types. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, there's a random little useless bit of information. Viz, if you don't know what Viz is, it's the company that, the website that I'm playing all these ROMs on. Anyway, they updated their plugin with some new features. They said that some uh, places support, some consoles now support full screen. I checked the N64, doesn't support full screen. I checked the Game Boy, doesn't support full screen. I don't even know if the plugin's working right or if, or if I'm... You know, if, if I can't find the settings or whatever. But I'll check it out with, like, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. Probably those consoles. So, yeah. Uh, they also said... That was pretty much only the big thing they dropped. Other than that, it's probably some... It's some other stuff that I don't care about, like, uh... Uh... What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I can't remember. Netplay, netplay. They said there's some new netplay features or something, but uh, unless unless I get friends, that's kind of useless for. <laughs> unless, oh my god, I just realized how sad that sounds. Until I get friends to play with me, I that's useless. Oh my god. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, whatever. Air cross. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. So, anyway. Um, I'm still waiting for them to try to fix some of the issues with some ROMs. Like, Resident Evil 2 for N64 is not sh is not uh, displaying properly. In fact, it's pretty much impossible to play the game because it's mostly just a black screen. Uh, what else? Donkey Kong 64 ROM freezes. And, uh, oh yeah, the big one, Paper Mario. Paper Mario 64 still does the flashing thing. I'm trying really hard to try to do a Let's Play of that game, but until they fix the flashing problem, uh, I can't really do a Let's Play of it. I will restart the Let's Play, I'll do a completely new Let's Play of it, when they fix the problem. Until then, there's no real point. And besides, my safe data save data since uh, way back uh, when I did the first did that Paper Mario Let's Play and got up to part 10 twice. I just realized that I put part 10 twice instead of part 10 and part 11. Anyway, uh, it's not overall not unless, until they fix that there's no point of just me do, redoing the entire Let's Play because there's nothing really to show off. I looked and they, they said that Paper Mario is one of the most glitchy ROMs or whatever. So, yeah, it depend. It depends on your. It depends on your the emulator. It depends on the emulator, the plugin, and the gra even the graphics card you're using. So until they fix the problem, there's no way I can do a let's play of it. Oh, hang on, my my rival's in there. There we go. Huh, boo, boo, hoo. Just let the sick Pokemon go. That battle's worthless. Why don't you go my house? Who knows, it might make you a, little, a bit less weak. Yeah, this guy's like more of a dick than Gary. Oh wait, what am I going in there? There's no gym leader. See? Even in Gen... Uh, even in the remake, there's only a gym leader. There's no gym trainers. There are two people that I would thank you for helping with the lighthouse, but that's it. Oh, and this is where you get the HM strength, so hang on. And, yeah, they they changed... Didn't they change... Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. They changed... In Gen... In the remake, they changed it so this cl rock climber, I think, gives you surf instead of that guy. So, yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> 
This is where you get strength. Oh yeah, and there's a couple, uh, in the remake, there's also a couple of diamond, pearl, and platinum gym leaders you can find. Like, uh, that fighting gym leader girl, and then that water gym leader girl. I can't remember their fucking names, okay? <sighs> Alright, so, now we need to teach strength to someone. I don't know who the fuck's gonna be able to learn it. Definitely not Lapras. Anybody but Lapras. Okay, oh, that actually really helps. Okay, Heracross. Heracross should learn a HM. Uh, yeah, forget Tackle since we're not going to use it. Yeah, Heracross is kind of garbage in Gen 2 because he doesn't know any... Uh, he doesn't know any really good moves besides Megahorn. And Gen, in Gen 3, they gave him moves like... They gave him moves like Brick Break and Earthquake. In Gen 4, they gave him close combat. And in Gen 6, he has the Mega Evolutions. He has the Mega Evolutions, so... Um, he can do more... He will, he will fully attack with a Pin Missile and... What's the other one? Rock Blast. So that's good. Oh, shit! I forgot it. Oh, yeah, it's Monday. Oh, and I can give this to Togetic. Perfect. Wait, is there anything else with it? The sisters are all over the place. See if you can find them all. No, no. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, there, there is a, uh, there is a, um, what the hell is it called? Mystic Water. You can get it near the beginning of the game. Well, we're not gonna go there. We're gonna fly back there. Oh, let's check out some of the houses. Nothing really useful. This guy's trading a wants a Krabby. Hey, gee, that's really just Dude, Krabby's like a common Pokemon. Okay. Okay, not really extremely common where it's super easy to find, but a common enough to spend some time to look for it. Like Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh yeah, you want to see some real logic? See that building's right there? See how the see how the buildings up there in the roofs there? I can't surf right. I can't go behind the building. I know. You think um you think that you think in the Game Boy Color? I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you think that in the Game Boy Color they could have at least programmed it so you can walk behind buildings. Oh well, I don't know. I don't know. I guess because there was almost already so much data taking taking up space in this game that it would have been almost impossible to program a little bit more. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't hate this game for doing that, but. Well, not really, actually, because this is Pokemon. Okay, forget what I said. I just fucking just trying to make some conversation. So, oh yeah, back to the pl plug-in situation. So until they fix um, Paper Mario 64, I am not gonna do a Let's Play of Thousand Year Door. What do you think of that, Internet? Just kidding. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, until they fix the problem or new Paper Mario gets out, which is really sad considering how much in how long in development that game has been. The guy's the um, he's pretty much the guy probably just reached like 50% done. He's probably he's probably like 50, he's like 50 to 55% done. So yeah, it's gonna be really sad if they can't fix this simple flickering problem before. Uh, uh, that, that guy is done with his fan game, fan remake of Paper Mario with, uh, using GameCube graphics and textures. It's ripped straight from Thousand Year Door. Fuck. So, there are, th so there's three ways I can, wait, there's three ways I'm waiting, things I'm waiting for. For them to either fix the flickering problem, or for the guy to finish his, uh, remake of Paper Mario 64, 
or for me to get a capture card because I do I did uh, transfer my games to the Wii U and I even rebought them so that they're conveniently now on the Wii U menu which is always nice I don't and I don't feel like I wasted money because it's a nice feature Like, there are some video games I started playing, but I never complete. Like, I, uh... I... I played Donkey Kong Country 2, and I'm, like, on World 3 or 4 or whatever. So... So, yeah. Uh... But I want to restart it because I feel like I was abusing too much of the save states and load states and I would just get really angry at the game so I'm gonna restart the game and try again for this for Donkey Kong Country 2 and apparently Donkey Kong Country 2 is like the best one out of the three so yeah when am I gonna do a Donkey Kong Country let's play oh well we'll have to see to be completely honest with you I was going. I am going to do a let's play of Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tui, in celebration of Platonic's ukulele. If you don't know what that is, just go look it up. And, and I will be 100%ing 100%. And since it is a collectathon, I will be collecting everything in the game. They try to 100% it. Oh yeah, Christmas is coming up. Hang on, let me see this. Eleven more days. Eleven more days till Christmas. And six more days till my Christmas. Well, about six. Winter Steam Sale. Winter Steam Sale. Holiday Steam Sale. Games that are like 50% off. GTA 5 is like 20 bucks cheaper. Which is probably one, which is one of the games I'm going to be buying. I better go on sale. Uh, 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 I'm pretty sure. Uh, they said that all Steam sales are the same. Are the are the same, pretty much. Like the like the autumn Steam sale is like the same. The gonna be pretty much have the same deals as the holiday Steam sale or the summer Steam sale or or yeah. So there's re so there's no there's no point waiting for a specific sale since they're all pretty much the same. Oh, so what, tell me, what are you guys hoping to get for Christmas, and what are you guys gonna buy when the holiday Steam sale comes up? I'm gonna try to get GTA 5, and if it's like it should be around it should be like 50 bucks, and if Daisy is like 50% off, which I highly doubt it's going to be. I'll buy that too, and that. But I very fucking much doubt it's gonna be that cheap. And when you try to save up money, and then there's a Steam sale. I could buy GTA 5 right now if I wanted to, but I want to try to wait for the sale because I want to have money for a few other games. If DayZ is like out of my, um, out of what is too expensive, I'm just gonna gift all my friends Star Wars Battlefront 2 because it's gonna be like four bucks once it goes on sale. What I'm going to try to do for this episode is try to complete this lighthouse. Wait, why don't I just... Dude, there's a bunch... There, there's like a ton of battles. Why don't I just skip them all? Oh shit, oh shit, sorry. I, should, I shouldn't probably... I shouldn't skip the te text in case anyone wants to read it. Why don't I just do that? I mean, there's really no harm and effect of doing that, besides, you know, seeing, skipping the battles. 
But I won't skip the text. I'll let you read the text. All right. So, yeah. All right. Only in battles, though. Only in battles. So, only in battles when they're getting feeling too repetitive, and only in overworld locations where I'm trying to walk back to a location. Oh shit, sorry. Oh yeah, I should men I should mention this. A couple months ago, somebody su did suggest the game for Let's Play, and I was quite shocked because I never gotten such a, a suggestion a before. In fact, it'd make me really happy if you guys fucking like just type in suggestions for Let's Plays you want to see. Somebody su actually suggested a Spiral the Dragon Let's Play for PS One. Sadly, I. I haven't got around to that yet, as you can see. You know, I tell you what, I'll I'll do the let's play of Spyro the Dragon when I'm finished Pokemon Silver and Viva Pinata, both at the same time. And I and when I'm done that, when I'm done with both of them, I won't I won't I won't start any other series until I'm done with both games because both games are gonna take a long time to play. In fact, I'm sure Viva Pinata will be done before I'm done with Pokemon Silver. Ah, shit. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh. oh, man. Sorry, I had to hold the mic like that because... Last time I sneezed into the mic, it was like really fucking loud. Oh, we're candy, nice. Oh yeah, right, right. We're, we're supposed to go this way. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Oh, did I skip the text? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Alright, body slam. Nice. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Alright, perfect. Alright, and for some fucking reason, on the top floor, it plays the, uh, the theme for the city. I don't, I don't know why. And there's an item over there, and there's Jasmine with, uh, Am Ampharos. To be completely fucking honest, when I was, when I first played this game, I had no idea what Pokemon this was. Like, uh, it says Amphi, and I'm like, what the fuck is an Amphi? And then it wasn't until, like, s until about the time I played Soul Silver when I figured out it was an Amphi. I'm an idiot. Okay, so she's asking us to go get the medicine that's across the sea to Cianwood. Which also has a, which is also where the, what was it, fifth gym is? Hang on. Yeah, fifth gym is.
So we're gonna head across the street. We're gonna head across the sea next time. What a cock out. So uh, I'm afraid that's all the time we have today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that stuff. Check out other videos I've done. Uh, check out my Viva Pinata playthrough. It's quite. It can be kind of a chore to watch. I will admit it because the game is kind of boring, most more boring, and just waiting for something to happen. But uh, you might see a few things you will highly enjoy, like getting Viva Pinata. I feel like uh, I feel like the Let's Play is just for me. Oh, whatever. So. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!